Hello again from Planetside Software. Today we're going to be looking at the new instance editing functionality in TerraGen 3. So I've got a basic population I've created here. We're going to go to the settings for that population to the editing tab and click start editing. That puts us into edit mode and you'll see as I uh, mouse over these instances there's an orange bounding box. I click on an instance, I get the uh, handles here for being able to move the uh, instance on each axis. I can move it above the terrain here. There's a nice new uh, drop to terrain option here. That's either the, the button on the far right of this toolbar or the D key. It drops it straight down to the terrain so you can keep your object anchored where you want it. You can also delete individual instances with the delete button or the delete option on the edit menu. And you've got individual instance rotation here as well as uh, scaling on each separate axis for each instance. So I can uh, make this a skinny tall tree if I want to and change a few other instances here. So uh, let's say that you aren't quite uh, happy with some of the changes you made. You want to know which instances were changed, which ones were deleted. You've got these options over here on the left for the highlight the modified instances and also show deleted instances. Modified instances will show up in green, green bounding boxes, and the deleted ones will show up with red bounding boxes. If you decide that uh, you weren't happy with the ones you deleted, you want them back, you've got the restore deleted button here, so they're back now. And you can also reset your modified instances. I'm going to actually make a change to this one again and as well to uh, this one. Just want to show you also that these changes persist between repopulations. So if I make some changes like this, I stop editing, and then I go and change, say, the object scale and rotation here, and then repopulate. Keep an eye on those instances I changed, and you'll see that they stay the same. The rest of the population uh, changes based on my settings. So uh, this allows you to kind of set some custom settings for individual instances uh, and still be able to modify the rest of the population without uh, messing up or losing the, the changes that you made. So uh, that's about it for the functionality. It's uh, very simple but very useful and powerful to be able to truly customize your uh, scene exactly the way you want it. And this functionality is available in the free version of TerraGen 3 which you can download right now. Check the description for a download link.